So much petroleum. Why does that sound like a Jackbox, like AI-generated prompt? Don't even get me started on the Bill Gates and Socrates podcast. These guys know that's not Bill Gates and Socrates, right? They know it's one computer talking to itself. Ah, my dear friend Bill, I see you have brought a device with you today. What purpose does it serve? Greetings, Socrates. This is a laptop, a marvel of modern technology. It harbors an artificial intelligence that can revolutionize heuristic education. No disrespect. Can you imagine how big of a loser you'd have to be to ever watch an AI-generated podcast between Bill Gates and Socrates? It's because it's not Bill Gates and Socrates. It's a computer talking to itself, man. I don't know how else to explain it. I'm putting it in the simplest terms possible. All the comments are like, this sucks, and then the replies are like, it's going to get better. It doesn't matter how good it gets. I, I, like, I mean, I know that most people here know that, but like, no matter how good it gets, it's never going to be Socrates. Like, you got to do... Like, I'm not saying AI has no purpose. I'm just saying that's the dumbest purpose of all time. It's like inventing, like, the internal combustion engine and being like, look, it can run a vacuum cleaner badly. And you're like, I don't want the fucking fumes in my house. I'll just put it in my car. Put, strap some axles and some wheels on it. Let's go to town. It doesn't have to do everything. It doesn't have to power my damn dishwasher. Look at that. As long as we still got the half with the buffet, I'm chilling, man. How is this boat still going? Um, it's still less dense than water, so it floats. Got a regular Isaac Newton in the chat. That's okay. Now we're in trouble. <laughs> I think I got one more in me. Based in Archimedes pill. Ever do the bit about how smart you had to be to like invent math? And then like we're like 16 years old in math class going like this shit is too hard. Sine, cos, tan. How am I supposed to remember three things? Meanwhile, Archimedes is like holding up a fucking like leaf and measuring the length of the shadow and going, oh, the Earth's approximately 17,000 kilometers in radius. It's just fucking crazy, dude. There should be a podcast where Bill Gates talks to Archimedes. That was a Rasta scene? Okay, fucking Ken Jennings. <laughs> Guess what? It's Archimedes now. Thought Archimedes was the bath guy? You're thinking of Eureka's castle. Which of the major ancient philosophers would be a flat earther? Bro, I don't think any of them were that smart. You give me a bathrobe and 60 years spent just talking with my lads? I'll come up with some better shit than like uh, Plato ever came up with. The only real one is Diogenes. And I know nothing about him except that he like... told jokes and lived in a wine barrel. He didn't take himself too seriously. It's kind of like history's first drill. What about Marcus? I don't consider Marcus to be a philosopher because he had a real job. He was an emperor and he just did philosophy on the side. It's like the best streamers are not actually streamers. They're like, oh, I work at NASA, but then like in my off time, I also stream Kerbal Space Program. The worst streamers are the ones who are like, I'm live 14 hours a day. And you're like, oh fuck, here we go. Chat, did you ever realize how hard it is to um, fucking make a phone call? Here we go again. Which one are you? The second one. <laughs> For sure. I was thinking about it. I might be so normal that I'm weird. Let me give you a data point. I think I went to like four grocery stores this weekend. I don't mean weird by streamer standards. I mean like weird by like even normal people standards. Why? Because they were fucking there. And you always need something from the grocery store. You don't always have to go in and be like, I'm going to buy like a bunch of frozen chicken breasts. Sometimes you just go into the grocery store and you're like, oh, a drink, a snack, something for later. You know, oh, well, we could always use garbage bags. Then you get home and you're like, oh, we already had garbage bags. Oh, well, you can never have too many garbage bags. I think it's just dad behavior. I mean, I do need to, like, 
maybe add some context. I have a two-year-old, so like the number of places I can go is like sort of limited. Going to the grocery store is sick because you like always need something. And then, you know, a kid can easily go into a grocery store. It's not like taking them to a movie theater or something like that.